What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back. Hmm. Cheers, mate. Guess I should use this then. What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. As you can see, I've got a brand new camera. This thing looks sick. It has a little screen on the side here so I can actually see myself. I no longer need to get up, go check behind the camera, see if everything's in frame or in focus. It's got a little mic on top as well. Looks super, super vloggery. So yeah, maybe a couple of vlogs coming soon. If that's something you guys are interested in, definitely leave a comment down below. So if you're new here, if you don't know who I am, my name is Nasser. I'm a second year medical student at King's College London. If you want to follow me on Instagram for more medical school related content, feel free to do so over here. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So today I'm going to be talking about how I take lecture notes at university. Now taking lecture notes at university is probably one of the core skills that you need to succeed and to get through university. It's something that's really important and it always takes freshers like a year, maybe two years to figure out what their style is, what works best for them. And so everything that I talk about in this video is what works best for me and it's what my advice is. But obviously everyone is different and people learn in different ways. So I would highly recommend trying out different styles if one isn't working for you and sticking with the one that works best. So basically when it comes to taking lectures, lecture. When it comes to taking lecture notes, there's two ways that you can do it. So the first way is that you have your computer sitting on your lap and you're just typing away like lightning speed trying to catch everything that the prof is saying or you have a pen and paper or an iPad with an Apple pencil and you're taking notes as you go along as well. So I'm gonna split this video into typing on a keyboard and making handwritten notes whether that's on an electronic iPad or on a pen and paper and I'm gonna tell you guys why I think using an iPad is the best way to combine the two different ways of taking notes and that's personally what I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Now I'm someone who really values efficiency. Everything that I do in my life I try extremely hard to make sure I'm minimizing the time I'm spending doing things in between I'm trying to maximize the value of my time in whatever it is I'm doing and that certainly applies to lectures as well and that's going to come into my reasoning for why I think typing versus lecture notes should be done in different situations so let's move over to my desk so I can explain this a little bit further all right guys so like I said before when you're taking lecture notes you're either going to be typing or you're going to be handwriting so let's start off with typing so if you're typing you're going to be on a laptop probably using a keyboard and this is how I like to think about it. When you're in lecture and you're taking notes, if your lecture is being recorded so that you can view it later online and you can go through the lecture as many times as you possibly want, you can pause, you can play, you can think about what is being said, then you wanna go into handwritten notes. And I'll explain why that is later. If your lecture is not recorded and once you attend the lecture, that's the only time you're ever going to hear that information. So you can only get one chance to note down all that info. Then you're going to want to go with typing. And I'll explain my reasoning for all of this. Let me write here. No recording. And here we have, whoops, sorry. This should go here. No recording. And here we have recording. This is low key also an advertisement for how cool the iPad is. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously not sponsored by Apple. If you are in lecture, okay, and that's the only time you can get the information, this is when you're gonna be one to be if you're in lecture and this is the only time you're gonna get that information, this is when you're gonna be typing as fast as you possibly can. You're gonna want to take all the information that the lecturer gives you because once he says it, it's gone. What I like to do is take down all the information so that later on when I'm reviewing my lecture notes, I can decide what I think is important and what I don't think is important. Obviously, as you attend university, you very quickly learn to phase out and cut out any stuff that is not relevant to the test, that's not relevant to the material, and you obviously don't write that down. But anything that's relating to the lecture slides, I would always personally write that down in full. Then later on when I'm reviewing those lectures and those lecture slides, I can take the information that I think is most important and make a second set of more condensed notes. Let's talk about the pros of typing on a keyboard. First of all, you get all the information written down. Second of all, you have everything quite neat. If your handwriting isn't too good, probably like myself, maybe using a keyboard is better for you. But I personally prefer handwriting for a lot of other reasons that I'm gonna say. Now people do have an argument for for handwriting notes during a lecture and they say, well, look, I only write down the most important things. I only write down the key facts. And there is an argument for that. But for someone like me, I'm always in fear of missing small pieces of information. I 
I'm in fear of not getting to write down everything that I want. And the truth is when you're handwriting notes in a lecture, you simply don't have time. The lecturer is speaking so fast, there's a wealth of information to go through and you need to get all that down onto paper so that you can review it later. So that's why I really, really prefer typing if the lecture is not recorded, which is usually the case in the United States and in Canada. In the UK, I know a lot of universities record their lectures. Hallelujah, thank you so much. <laughs> that's what I currently do and that's why I use an iPad. But the disadvantages to typing is that you don't really pay attention. So handwritten notes, I would highly recommend if you can pause the recording, if you can play back the recording. And the reason that I highly recommend it for that is because you can actually take the time to listen and understand what is being said. In the lecture, if there's no recording and you're struggling to write down everything that you possibly can, a, you simply don't have time. No one can write that fast. And B, you're just not gonna understand the info because you're also focusing on writing. Now, the main key advantage to handwriting your lecture notes is that in addition to listening and thinking about and processing that information, you're also using a motor skill. You are physically moving your hand across the paper or on a sheet of glass if you're on an iPad, and that's really going to help you memorize and learn things better. So the advantages of handwritten notes, better understanding and info retention. Okay. Now the cons of handwriting is that obviously it takes so much time. And if the lecturer is speaking really fast, obviously you're not going to get everything that they said. But in the scenario where the lecture is recorded and you can review it as many times as possible, then handwriting is the best way to take what is being said in the video and on the slides into a note form that's easy for you to learn about and memorize later. Let's get some of this nice coffee in. So if the lecture is recorded, like most medical schools in the UK, I would highly, highly recommend switching from typing notes to handwritten notes. It really makes you think about what you're writing down. It makes you take a second look and a second think about the information that you're going through. Now, let me show you guys the process of me actually taking lecture notes. So the first thing that I would do is go to the university website and download the relevant lecture slides for that lecture. So let's say we're studying the pharmacology of angina. Just click on there. And once you open the lecture on your iPad in Safari, it's really easy to download it and import it into your note taking app of choice. For me personally, that is Notability. So I would say copy to Notability, it instantly opens, it's so easy. And I would put this in cardiovascular disease, import. So I've already done this before, but this is just show you the import process. Now, what I do is I go to my cardiovascular disease. You can see here that I have everything very neatly organized have my human development uh, course module and then within it endocrinology, fertility, pregnancy, and each one has the lectures over here. And if you click on the lectures, this is an example of my handwritten notes that I've scanned onto my iPad now. And I scanned it so that I can have everything in one easy place and it's just easily accessible. So back to cardiovascular disease and the pharmacology of angina. So if we go here to cardiovascular disease, scroll down to pharmacology of angina. This is what I will usually do. So when I'm actually taking the lecture notes, I have the lecture slides and the recording of the lecture on my computer, I listen to it. And for each lecture slide that we have, I put a title in blue. So that sort of helps me orient, you know, what it is that I'm about to talk about in the next paragraph. And then I write down, as you can see over here, all the things that I think are most important. I only write down what's important, but I like to be complete. I like to have a full set of notes here. And the reason for that is this one page over here that you can see, I also have some pictures added to as well. This has everything that was discussed in that lecture that is important to me. So I have beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, evabridine, ranolazine, all of these meds and the appropriate information for them. When it comes to preparing for the exam, I don't need all of this information, but it's extremely useful to have to refer back to. And for me, having the entire lecture on one piece of paper makes that super easy and convenient. I have the full lecture worth of information over here on this one page, as you can see. And then if you go further down beneath that, I have the notes that I would use to actually study for the exam. So this all here written in orange is a very condensed version of the full lecture notes that I took here. So if I'm quickly trying to review this lecture in order to prepare for the exam, I would only read this small amount of information here. And this is the important clinical, most high yield information that will come up on my test. But if I don't understand something or I need a little bit more context, all I have to do is scroll up 
and I can see all that information over here. So that's the use for me of having written down every single piece of information that is important when going through the lectures for the first time. Now, what I can also do is using Notability, I can open on the left here and I can click on the corresponding lecture, which I can't really see right now, but let's just use another lecture for instance, whoops. So I can open the lecture notes on the right hand side and I can open the lecture slides on the left. And you can do something like this, this is super, super useful. So let's say that I want to review or add notes to this and take a look at the lecture slides a second time. I can just write over here, you know, I can take a look on the left on my lecture slides, on my notes here, I can even look at them there. But I can look at the lecture slides and I can write the important information here on the right. So it's really easy to have multitasking on the new iPads. It's really easy to look at the lecture slides on the left, write notes on the right. This is basically a perfect piece of technology for taking lecture notes. I think the iPad is a fantastic piece of technology. Let me show you what my first year lecture notes look like. This is one year worth of notes for King's first year medical school. I mean, I can't show you that well like this. You know what, let me use my, my phone to show you. This is it. This is a huge, I mean, I can't describe how many papers are in here, how many lecture notes. This is super heavy, obviously non-practical, and I hand wrote everything. I really took a lot of time, a lot of effort to handwrite these notes. If I want to find a specific lecture right now from my first year, how in the world am I supposed to find it in here? I mean, this is just a lost cause. Look at all of my second year and first year lecture notes combined in this tiny little light thing, which is like perfect for use for studying. All right guys, and I think that's it for me. I'm gonna call this video here. I hope this video gives you a better idea of how I take my lecture notes and can help you decide whether you want to handwrite or type your lecture notes when you're at university. Thank you for taking the time to watch. If you wanna see more videos from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this video, share it with your friends if you think that they might find it useful as well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.